so this video is about short haired v long haired guinea pigs now along with the number of guinea pigs to get the whether to get males or females the breed of guinea pig is probably one of the first things you'll think about if you're going to get guinea pigs now some of the time you might not have a choice it'll just depend on what's available when you go to pick them up but other times for example if you're adopting from a rescue you might have different options, different groups that you could go for. So some examples of long-haired guinea pigs include Peruvians, Texels, Merinos, Silkies, Luncarias. Some short-haired guinea pig breeds include Igutis, Selfs, American guinea pigs, Himalayan guinea pigs, and then there's also ones which are count as short haired but are kind of the hair's a bit more funky than just normal and flat. <laughs> and these include Abyssinians and Teddy guinea pigs. So I'm just going to talk through some of the things that we might want to consider if we do have a choice between long haired and short haired guinea pigs. So the first thing is, in case you're wondering about personality and behaviour, um, there's really no difference whether the how long the hair is. <laughs> All guinea pigs have really individual personalities that don't really differ much depending on which breed they are. But one thing that definitely does vary depending on whether they are long haired or short haired is the amount of care in terms of grooming, bathing and trimming that long haired guinea pigs need compared to short haired guinea pigs. With all that lovely long hair, long haired guinea pigs are more likely to get bits of hay, bits of bedding like wood shavings for example stuck in their hair, it might cause knotting and tangling, you might even if it's not groomed properly it can form these like hard mats of hair that are just like really compacted tangles that kind of just stay there and they can snag on things and it's and really not be very comfortable for them. Long haired guinea pigs can also have problems if the hair is left to grow too long that it can be unhygienic for them so it might soak up urine in the cage it might mean that they're more likely to get urinary tract infections and other things associated with being less hygienic so as a quick example here here is Lyra's bottom <laughs> that's how short I keep her hair so really you need to keep it just as short as it is in short haired guinea pigs for them to be completely comfortable and um, it not soak up any um, urine or anything like that. Another thing to think about when considering to get long haired or short haired guinea pigs is what they will be bedded on. So if you want to give them a nice big cage like I've got here, for a start it's not really economical to give them wood shavings or care fresh. So also it's much better for long haired guinea pigs to be bedded on fleece or some kind of flat material where there isn't going to be lots of little bits of material that are going to get tangled up in the hair and cause them problems. Another thing to think about is when you're handling your guinea pigs. So in general, from my own experiences, I've found that short haired guinea pigs are easier to handle. So they might be more suitable for new owners or younger owners, uh, simply because if you're a long haired guinea pig, you've got all that nice luxurious ha hair. Of course, it looks really nice, but if you're getting picked up and um, you might get the hair pulled, then you're going to kind of squeak and you don't like that. Um, in general, long haired guinea pigs might be a bit more fussy about the hair. They might not enjoy being handled or stroked as much as short haired guinea pigs, especially if they don't like being groomed, which a lot of long haired guinea pigs really don't like being groomed. So you definitely do need to be a more experienced owner in general not just with handling but also with the grooming aspect of things as well so my advice to any first-time owners would be to go with a short-haired guinea pig over a long-haired guinea pig now if you really do like the way long-haired guinea pigs look you you know that you think that hairstyle is amazing you'd really like to have a long-haired guinea pig then you can always consider kind of an in-between breed such as an Abyssinian. Now Willow over there is half Abyssinian and as you can tell she's got all the rosettes, her hair's a bit more funky looking and yet I don't have to groom her as much. She 
she's essentially just a short haired breed but she just looks a bit funkier <laughs> so um, something like an Abyssinian or a Teddy guinea pig might be the one for you right. so I'd just like to finish off this video with a bit more info about my own piggies and what type they are so Sprite as you can see she's a short haired guinea pig she's an agouti guinea pig that which means that the individual hairs change colour part way through which gives her that kind of speckled appearance now Sprite is really laid back um, because her hair doesn't bother her in any way um, she can be picked up easily, she really enjoys lap time, she's very laid back and easy to handle and I think part of that is down to her being short haired so these two guinea pigs in the litter tray are Willow on the far side and her daughter Twiglet. Now Willow is a Peruvian Abyssinian cross although she's really not got that, her hair isn't really long at all so I'm, I'm not really sure whether you know she's got other breeds mixed in there which keep her hair shorter and her baby Twiggy who's being fussy <laughs> um, is uh, if I had to put a breed to her because she's not pr purebred they are rescues from the RSPCA um, I'd probably say she has characteristics of a teddy guinea pig so teddy is kind of um, they've got short hair but it stands up a bit more it's really volumized <laughs> and they kind of have this appearance of being like a cuddly toy which is where teddy guinea pigs get their name from again with these two guinea pigs because they are short haired but the hair's just a bit more funky um, I don't have to put any extra effort in terms of grooming them they don't have any problems with lap time they're both quite relaxed and last up this is Lyra she is a Lancaria guinea pig she is a purebred come back <laughs> so yeah she's a purebred um, Lumcaria guinea pig that I got from a breeder um, I couldn't resist getting her um, I made an inquiry and she was the last one left in a kind of accidental litter and she also has um, one too many rosettes to be of a show standard so other breeders didn't really want her so that's why I had adop adopted her to be a pet guinea pig instead and with all that hair Lyra um, doesn't like being groomed and although she doesn't like it it's something that I have to do which probably means she's a bit more wary of me than the other guinea pigs um, she doesn't like being handled as much as them although with time and taming we're kind of getting over that and it's improving but yeah she doesn't like grooming but unfortunately she needs to have it done and that's all for this video sorry about the rambling towards the end but um, I know some of you like to see and hear a bit more about my guinea pigs as well as just general information in the video so that's why I decided to include that if you have any video requests please post them down below I know it's been a while since I've done my last video um, that's partly just because I've been really busy at the weekends last weekend I was on a conference so I couldn't do any filming then but I really do want to try and get more videos out there so um, as always if you found this video useful or you just enjoyed watching it then please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching and um, that's goodbye from me and the piggies we'll see you in the next video bye bye So in this video I'm going to talk about keeping single guinea pigs versus keeping guinea pigs in groups.